So, have you looked up anyone else? Hmm? Anyone else from high school? Oh, no, no, no. Just you. Really? I'm just in town for the weekend. I'm not going on a reunion tour or anything. That's good. I haven't seen most of them since I left. Me neither. I did run into Brett Barry last year. Really? He was fixing his bike in Central Park. What's he up to? The usual, married, working. No surprise. I think he had his own business. Consulting or something? Ah, uh, consulting. I think that was it. <laughs> It was a pretty boring conversation, actually. Oh, Brett was always pretty boring. At least he knows that he kept it short. <laughs> That's good. People in New York tend to talk my ear off. And you're surprised? A little, yes. Same as back home. But it's New York, the unfriendliest city in the world. People have always wanted to talk to you. But why me? On the bus, in the street, in the store? Why am I always running into these Chatty lunatics. Gee, I wonder why. It is not that. No. The city is full of women 600 times better looking than me and younger. There are thousands of them everywhere. Really? It's almost obscene. An embarrassment of riches. Just an embarrassment. <laughs> Exposed navels, tiny little rollerblading butts. <laughs> it makes you feel old. You're not old. Of course I'm not. Because then I would be old. And you're not old. Of course not. Though. These people are not hitting on me. I think I'm some kind of freak magnet. You're not a freak magnet. You just have an open face. What? You have a face that makes people think they can talk to you. And what about my face says that? I don't know. It's hard to describe. Yes, you're having trouble. Your eyes seem incapable of glaring. Your mouth looks like it's never told someone to shut up. That's crazy. It's what your face is saying. <laughs> but most of the time I'm wishing these people would just shut up and let me buy my groceries or whatever. Do you ever say it? No. Well, there you are. There I am. My wife tells me I'm too familiar with people. I say things I shouldn't say, like we're at a party and I'm talking to a dentist and I say, do you ever get depressed? I hear a lot of dentists kill themselves. <laughs> I feel my wife's elbow in my back. You know, you once asked my dad if he was happily married. What? Uh, yes. We were at my house and my dad was unloading groceries in the kitchen and you asked him if he liked being married. I did yes, not. Yes, you did. Why would I do that? I don't know. I don't remember doing that. Hey, you probably don't want to remember that one. You bounced it out of your cluttered little brain along with the capital of Oregon. What did he say? You definitely took him by surprise. <laughs> he stopped stacking cans for a second and then told you that he was and gave you that quick smile that means he's uncomfortable. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> You are wrong, though. I must have picked up on something I didn't. I thought my parents were perfectly happy, and two years later they got a divorce. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. You didn't cause it. No, I meant that I... I know! Just teasing! They're fine. They both be married. They're happy. That's good. <laughs> I wonder what you saw that I didn't. They never got in fights. I don't know. I guess I never saw them laugh. Huh. It must have been my senior year. It was. I was a junior. I was thinking a lot about marriage then. Yeah. Um, sorry. No. I thought about it first, but I still said it. It's okay. I don't think we can sit here for too long without it coming up. I guess not. I think I probably wanted it to. Really? Well, you never really got to talk about it. Not rationally, anyway. Not without shouting. Or crying. Or vodka. <laughs> or punching a wall. Yeah, no, it only happened once. Well, I still feel it when it rains. You are in such different places. 
I was only 16. I was crazy. I didn't know where I wanted to live, what I wanted to do. Of course not. It wasn't that I didn't. I know. I was leaving, and so much was wide open, and I guess I just wanted to have that. I never should have asked you. Uh, hell! I would have been hurt if you hadn't. Really? Kids are stupid. Yeah. Why do we make things so hard on ourselves? Why can't we just have fun while things are simple? I don't know. It's like, at a certain age, this switch flips on in your head. Time to start torturing yourself. Right. You look good. So do you. Thanks. It's really great to see you. You too, really. I'm happy now with my life. So am I. I'm really glad my... Um, my wife is great and my kids are great. Uh, we have a great house and great friends and I have a great job. Same with me. Derek is great. That's good. So we both found our right people. Definitely. Thank God, huh? I honestly couldn't have hoped for more. <laughs> And everybody's healthy and... Yeah. <sighs> Mike. Hi. Were we really in love? Is it possible at that age? Did it feel like love to you? It did. You know, I broke my hip in a car accident two years ago, and I remember that it hurt, but it was almost unbearable, only I can't bring back the sensation, you know? Uh-huh. But right now, looking at you, I can feel that summer, that same tingling, twisted up pain. When I was 10 years ago. I feel it too. I mean, it's not as intense, but it's there. Always. God. At the end of it, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I could barely get out of bed in the morning for a week. Same here. It was this empty, overwhelming, Agony. Heartbreak. I really miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Why is that? <laughs>